everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today we have a post review of a kit for you all. And I don't normally do post reviews from Diamond Art Club kits unless I do a blingy the thingy. And this is one that I did add some bling to, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a post review of it uh, with a little bit, kind of talking about more so about the bling that I added and kind of how it looks and kind of go from there. So this is Midnight Owl by Jeremiah Kettner, and this is, a, of course, as you can see, a Diamond Art Club this is a 51 by 64 round drill kit. It has 35 colors and came with two ABs. And I worked on this for uh, the, get the, chain, the name of it, the Kettner Diamond Art 2024 event hosted by um, Brie over at Painting with Pities and Sophie from the Diamond Help Desk. So with this kit, I started it on the 3rd of January, finished it on the 20th of January, and it took me 18 hours and 47 minutes. Oh yes, and this was also my submission for the Blinging in the New Year event as well. Uh, that's what I also put that one in for that event too. Oh, kitten is causing chaos. Of course, of course she's causing chaos. Of course, why, why would she be doing anything else? So we are going to talk a little bit about the bling pack that I did for this. So I did use the DP with Sparklers, a suggested enhancement pack or bling pack, however you want to think of it. I did use that. And then I, I did a couple small tweaks to that bling uh, pack as well. So this was actually my second finish for the month of January. As far as like big kits, I did other smaller finishes in between, but this was my second big finish for the month of January, which makes it my 49th finish of all time. Uh, and uh, we will kind of get into it. So we're going to look at what all I did. So these were the suggested uh, enhancements right here. I wrote them out. Instead of using the big uh, printing out the sheet from DP with Sparklers website, the fact sheet that they have that give you your enhancement suggestions, rather than having to print that out, I just rewrite them on a small sheet that I can then put into my logbook just like this, which kind of goes into everything. And then these are the additional things that I added. Just a small couple tweaks that I did to kind of like make it my own. Uh, if I had felt like taking more time and it hadn't been like literally the end of the kit, I would have also added some bling and swapped out the moon and done some bling in the moon. But I was kind of like, at the, it was like literally the last section that I did was that section that had the moon. And I was kind of like, at that point, I'm like, I'm done. I want to be done. I was at like the finish line of the canvas and I didn't want to take the time to go find the bling to match to do the moon. So I was like, meh, we're over it. We're done. We're just going to call it a day. So I didn't do anything to the moon. But if I had not been at the end of the kit, I would have done uh, those some things that I would have potentially added extra things to would have been like the moon and the stars. I would have added bling to those. But let's go ahead and take a look at the drills and the colors that we added. All right, so I'm going to turn on the overhead light so we can see the colors in the drills properly in here. So you can see, look at this color palette. I love this color palette. And you can see there are a lot of colors left over in here. Uh, and I like to, and I did leave these ones in the order that they came because it was just easier to find everything if it was in the one through whatever order because I was adding bling to it. So that just made it easier to locate everything. So there was nothing that I felt like I was going to run out of with this, uh, especially since, you know, I wasn't using it. Uh, like a lot of the, well, some of the, I was using all of the colors cause it wasn't like a one for one swap for anything except for like, this is the only one that I didn't use any of the charted color. I used all ABs for the entire canvas. Um, but for the majority of it, like I, like this was complete, was almost completely full to begin with. And you can see, I still, I have a few left in there. Um, but these containers, I literally fill the containers as full as possible with everything that I'm working on. So the bling that I added for this, we added, I'll just kind of run down through in here and pull it up so you can see, and I apologize for the glare right there, but the bling that we added was a 209 AB, this pretty purple, which this was added in the owl, uh, into the body of the owl. Uh, so that was one that was, some of these were just in the body of the owl for the majority of the bling, very little bling was added to the background. So 209 AB for the body of the owl. And then we added this 739, this pretty light blue crystal into the body of the owl as well. And then we had this 701 AB, which was charted for, which was uh, suggested to enhance the body of the owl, but I also used it into the tips of 
some of the leaves in the uh, whooshy portion, which I'll show you where I did that one as well. And then we have the 704 crystal, this really pretty 704 crystal, uh, which is also body of the owl. And then we come down and we have this 3608 AB, which actually was done throughout the entire canvas. That's one of the few things that was everywhere in the canvas was this AB here. Um, and then we have this 37 or 3325 AB, which is a really pretty light blue AB that we used. And then we had, I feel like, was that like literally what we had? Let's see, we had one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh yeah. There wasn't that many because we had the quad cubes. So it wasn't a whole bunch. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh yes, and then we had these starfish bubbles, uh, this pretty yellow bubbles that we used, and those were in the body of the owl kind of around the eyes, and then we had this purple glitter drill that you can see which has that gold powder on the surface of it, not a mica really, it's more of like a glitter powder, and then we had the suggestions were for some yellow uh, AB quad cubes, some yellow quad cubes, and then also for this sky blue quad cube that you see right there and this green quad cube that you see right there. I did also add this other color of green that I already had in my uh, hoard of extra uh, spare, all my hoard of like special drills that I had. I added this color as well because I felt like it was closer to some of the colors that we were swapping out for some of the areas for the background. And the quad cubes were primarily in the sky. Oh yes, and then the last thing that I, I did also add, so that quad cube, the little extra little bit of 701 AB, and then the pixie dust 718 that I added into a flower down here, were things that were not charted in for a suggested enhancement suggestion, but those were things that I did add. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. Well, and go from there. So let me go ahead and turn this light off so that way we can get the full effect of the canvas without the extra light. And we will take a look at it. I mean, this is beautiful. I am like loving these colors, the color, and look at like, look at the shimmer that you get from the crystals. You can see the crystals in the owl, right? These blue crystals right here. And then you can see it down into the body of the owl. We have these same blue crystals right down like all in the in the feathers kind of all throughout in like those tips of the feathers depends on the angle we're at see there we go there we go that shimmer right there those are the blue crystals and what I love is how it turned out where we have the blue and the green crystals down here in the tip of the tail that is just gorgeous how that turned out so we're gonna go ahead and like as you can see here beautiful 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 so going kind of from the top, um, you can see this, I had a, like the, the canvas itself overall, the only issue I had with it is the adhesive didn't seem to be super, super sticky. It wasn't as bad as some of the kits that I've had from Diamond Art Club, some of the older ones. This adhesive, um, I had to use one of my putties that was not a super sticky putty. Normally I can use any stickiness of putty and I'm fine, but I had to use a putty that was relatively not sticky in order for it to be able to like let go of the drills and have them actually stay. And I really struggled with placing the um, the glitter drills. Those were the ones that I struggled with the most for placement because I, I really, really struggled with them. Um, and looking at this, I'm like, I feel like those are the wrong color. Are they the wrong color? They can't be because I placed the right drills, but I'm looking at that and I'm like, that looks like the wrong color on that owl. So now I'm like, you gotta look at him and be like, is that the wrong color? But anywho, uh, so I, that was basically, um, very challenging to place the glitter drills. They just did not want to stick well to this canvas. And it took me like twice as long to put the glitter drills down as it did any of the other drills, uh, because the adhesive was very lackluster on this kit which is something that I've had an issue with with a number of my Diamond Art Club canvases that I've worked on. Uh, out of all of the companies that I've done, I've actually had more issues with Diamond Art Club adhesive than with any other company's adhesive, which is something that uh, is kind of like shocking 
you would think would be shocking, but I'm like, I've, yeah, most of my issues have been with Diamond Art Club adhesive rather than other companies adhesive. Um, so looking at this, you can see we've got the pink swooshy AB right up in here. That's our pink AB. Um, we have some green crystals and then the extra green AB. We have some blue AB, pink AB, purple AB right around in here. And then we have the blue AB there. The, it was charted with two ABs. Uh, and the one of them being this yellow AB and then the other one being the uh, I think the other one was a what was the other one a purple oh the uh, two different shades of yellow so our two charted ABs were actually two different shades of yellow AB uh, which were kind of both up into like this area of the eyeballs uh, for our well one was a yellow and then one was a green down here those were the two charted ABs, the yellow of the eyes and then the green down here. Um, so it, on our bubbles, outline the entirety of the eyes and give it a texture. And I'll kind of come down to show you that a little bit close up. In the background, anywhere that there was like a four spot of drills, we have a quad cube. So that way it gives an accent. There's also these yellow quad cubes in the eyes. So kind of in those eyelids have yellow quad cubes as well which really kind of gives it this like extra little uh, oomphy bling. Um, and then as we come down a little bit more, let me do this. You can see here for our bottom half of our owl, we again in the greens, we have the green crystal, green AB. The blues are a blue AB with this blue crystal in there. In the purple section, there's a blue AB and then this purple glitter uh, right here and this, that glitter drill which looks gorgeous. Here again, we have this pink AB kind of swooshing. Um, and then more of that pink AB down here. The pink AB outlines this pretty pink flower. I did add the pixie dust. I felt like this pink flower needed a little bit of something. Since there wasn't a lot of bling in the background, it was all centered on the owl. I didn't want to do super, super bling on this flower, so but I felt like it needed a little bit of something. So I did add a little bit of the pixie dust uh, onto this. And I'll bring us down so we can kind of get a close up look at it. But I did add that there. In the tail, we have this purple glitter. We have blue in for these stripes. We have the blue crystals right through here. And then we have the green, uh, is it the crystal or is it the AB? Uh, I think it's the dark green uh, AB with next to the blue crystal in the tail feathers. And it's a really, really pretty effect. I love the tail. I think the tail is probably one of my favorite parts. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love this kit. I think this is one of my, like, I just, I love the, the colors. The color palette is glorious. I love it. Uh, and then down here, we have some more of the quad cubes kind of scattered throughout. And then we also have uh, down here, what I added in for the flower or for the petals of these uh, leaves down here is for a couple of these ones over on this side, the tip was a different color and the tip that was a different color down here, I added that we had changed it though that particular um, symbol, we had changed to the green AB up here to a 701 AB. So that tip that was an AB up here, I went ahead and swapped it and made it an AB down here and it because it was just like these three leaves. So I felt like that wasn't too overpowering or anything. So that's what I did for that. And I felt like it turned out gloriously beautiful. We're going to kind of come in a little bit. Oh, we'll leave it like that. And we'll come down a little bit so we can see a little bit more what some of this looks like. So as we come in, you can see there is that AB that I added down there. You can see some of the quad cubes. Here is that glorious tail that I was talking about. I love how the tail turned out. And then here you can see, it doesn't pick up very well, but you can see that subtle shimmer of the pixie dust. It's a very, very subtle shimmer that of that drill that I picked up right there. And all of these specials were purchased from DP with sparklers. And then as we come up, you can see, you can really see all of the specials that were added into the body of this owl. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then the bubbles on the eyes. You can see there's the, our yellow bubbles as in, acting as a perimeter all the way around the eyeballs. 
And then we have more specials up into the top of our owl's head. Look at that, look at that, so pretty, so pretty. And then the pink of the waviness around is the AB that we added. Uh, the one thing that, like I said, the one thing that if I were to have gone through and done this again, or if I had been the one to plan out the bling on this, because I like all the extra bling, I would have probably done something blingy wise for the moon and all of these stars for the background. I would have added some extra bling for the moon and the stars as well. Uh, Cause I feel like they could have gone and done with a little extra oomph too. Uh, Cause they didn't have any oomph or any bling to them. So I probably would have done that. Uh, Cause as we pull out a little bit here, you can see we have these stars and the moon right up in here. We have the quad cubes, which are like little big, which are basically like big stars scattered kind of throughout in those different colors. So we have those in there, but, and they're kind of like the entirety of the background, but all of these stars, nothing to kind of like bling them up a little bit. And they're all like a single color for those stars. I probably would have added, made them like a little shimmery uh, and done something to them when it could have been something as simple as just making them a pixie dust. Granted, the enhancement suggestions were made for this kit prior to DP with sparklers uh, starting to carry the pixie dust drills. But that's something that is something that that is a suggestion that I would do if you're planning on blinging this out yourself and you're using the suggestion kit or the enhancement suggestions from Deepu Sparklers, get it and then go ahead and go ahead and add some extra pixie dust into it for these stars. I think you'll enjoy that uh, to add a little extra bling if you wanted to. But otherwise, I am in love with how this turned out. The color palette is just oh, mm, to die for loving it beautiful beautiful finish uh, and overall very very pleased minus the adhesive issues that i had which is not a new to me issue with diamond art club kits but worth the headache of doing it for the amazing colors so anyways that's all i have for you on this kit i hope you enjoyed it and kind of got a little bit of an idea of the extra bling and what it can look like when it's done and worked up on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful owl that we have. And I just, I love the colors and like working on Jeremiah Kettner's art is uh, just amazingly fun to do. So that is all I have for you guys. I just pulled up a drill or there was a loose drill floating around. We will look and see. There was a bubble. Yes, I pulled up a bubble. I didn't crunch the bubbles down. So I'll have to put the bubble back in place. There we go. See, like I said, the adhesive doesn't want to stick very well because there a bubble just came off. So this is one that I will secure them down pretty well and go from there. Yeah. Like the fact that that bubble just like literally popped off in my hand just from doing that. So I'm just going to press all the bubbles down. Because I didn't want to roll the bubbles and potentially, you know, like crack any of the bubbles because they're glass. So, because normally I roll, I use my brayer and I roll all the drills. So it really sticks them into the adhesive, which helps. But you can't, I didn't really do that with any of the glass bubbles or anything. So we will compress them with my finger and see if that helps. But anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.